Sweden's Saab Gripen is not just a fighter jet. It is a thunderclap in the history of aviation, a machine so disruptive that it has forced the entire world to confront a devastating truth hidden for decades. For over 50 years, the global narrative of air power was shaped by defense contractors and political alliances. The more you spend, the more invincible you are. Trillion dollar programs like the F-35 Lightning II, Eurofighter Typhoon, and Dassault Rafale were marketed as the ultimate symbols of air dominance. Nations poured billions into these projects, believing cost equaled power. But then came Sweden, a neutral nation of barely 10 million, building a jet that tore that illusion apart. The Saab JAS-39 Gripen was not a prestige project. It was a survival tool. To understand it, you must return to the Cold War when Sweden stood alone between NATO and the Warsaw Pact. It built its doctrine on the assumption that no ally would come. Out of this came the Boss 60 and Boss 90 dispersal systems, hidden highway strips and forest bases that turned roads into runways. Saab's earlier Draken and Viggen fighters laid the groundwork, but the Gripen perfected the philosophy. Takeoff from 800-meter roads, refuel and rearm in under 10 minutes with six conscripts, survive without billion-dollar infrastructure. This was more than engineering. It was survival turned into steel and silicon. Every design choice screamed one message. Stay in the fight when the world collapses. And that philosophy would later become the weapon that shook the entire fighter jet industry to its foundations. When the Gripen entered NATO and multinational exercises, this survival philosophy turned into a devastating weapon. Leveraging advanced data links, network tactics, and electronic warfare that made it a digital ghost, Gripen scored simulated kills against F-15s, Typhoons, and even stealth platforms like the F-22 in red flag drills. Stories of these engagements spread quietly but carried a powerful truth. True air superiority is not about price tags. It's about intelligent design and adaptability. But the Gripen's impact reached beyond combat. It hit the heart of the military-industrial complex. The F-35 is not just a jet. It is a trillion-dollar geopolitical chain locking nations into decades of dependency. The Typhoon represents political compromise as much as capability. Against this system, the Gripen stands as rebellion. Its modular open architecture allows nations to integrate their own weapons and software. Its low cost frees air forces from economic slavery. Brazil's choice of Gripen over Rafale and FA-18 was not just procurement, it was sovereignty. Hungary, the Czech Republic, and South Africa echoed that message. Technically, the Gripen is lethal balance. Raven ES-05 AESA radar with wide-angle ECCM, Meteor missiles giving unmatched BVR reach, IRST for passive stealth detection, and an electronic warfare suite described as a digital shield. Its GE F414 engine gives it performance rivaling twin-engine fighters while flying for a fraction of their cost. Yet what terrifies the industry is not its specs. It's that all this comes in a package designed to fight from highways, maintained by conscripts, upgraded like software, and operated so cheaply it exposes trillion-dollar programs as bloated illusions. Every highway landing, every 10-minute turnaround, every cheap flight hour delivers the same message. The age of overpriced illusions is ending. The Gripen has rewritten the rules. It has proven that innovation under constraint beats excess, that survival-driven design beats politics, and that smart, efficient, sovereign air power is the future. Written in its wings is not just Sweden's story, but the blueprint for 21st century warfare. Beyond its battlefield performance and survival-driven design, the Saab Gripen carries a different kind of power, the ability to change the global balance of defense politics.
In a world where fighter jet deals are as much about alliances and control as they are about capability, the Gripen became a dangerous exception. Unlike the F-35 program, which locks nations into decades of U.S. software and maintenance dependency, the Gripen offers freedom. Its open architecture system allows customers to integrate their own weapons and even modify the software without begging the manufacturer. For countries like Brazil, which chose the Gripen over the Rafale and FA-18, this wasn't just about cost, it was about sovereignty. Brazil secured technology transfer, local production, and the ability to maintain and upgrade the jet independently. This deal was a shockwave across the industry because it exposed another secret. Most fighter programs are designed to create dependency, not independence. Hungary and the Czech Republic adopted the Gripen because it offered NATO-level capability without bankrupting their defense budgets. South Africa chose it because it could operate from austere bases and required minimal logistics support, perfectly suited to the African theater. Each of these deals reinforced the same truth. The Gripen was not just selling hardware, it was selling independence. Even nations pressured politically to choose American or European jets looked at the numbers and the doctrine and realized the Gripen offered something money couldn't buy control over their own skies without strings attached. Economically, the Gripen is a revelation. With acquisition costs around $60, $70 million per unit and flight hour costs estimated at one-third of an F-35s, it exposes the lie that modern air power has to be ruinously expensive. A fleet of Gripens can provide the same or superior coverage at a fraction of the lifetime cost allowing smaller nations to field credible, sustainable air forces without collapsing their economies. This cost efficiency is not a compromise. It is baked into its design, philosophy of survivability and simplicity. And the story isn't finished. The new Gripen EF is pushing the platform into the future. Advanced Raven ESA radar with wide-angle scan, an IRST capable of detecting stealth aircraft passively, full integration of the Meteor missile, making it a beyond visual range predator, and an electronic warfare suite so advanced it is compared to having a flying jammer. The Gripen's open architecture ensures it can evolve quickly as threats change, without the decade-long billion-dollar upgrade cycles that plague its rivals. Saab's roadmap even explores loyal wingman drones and AI-assisted combat management integrated directly with the Gripen systems. The impact is profound. The Gripen isn't just rewriting air combat doctrine, it's challenging the economics and politics of the fighter jet industry. Every sale undermines the monopoly of the military-industrial complex. Every exercise where it defeats a more expensive rival forces strategists to rethink their assumptions. And every time a Gripen takes off from a stretch of highway and goes to war with a fraction of the cost, it sends a message loud enough to echo in every defense ministry on the planet. The era of bloated, overpriced illusions is dying. The future belongs to intelligent, efficient, sovereign air power and the Saab Gripen is leading that revolution. What truly sets the Saab Gripen apart is not just its hardware, but the philosophy behind how it fights wars. While most modern fighters are designed around technological supremacy and massive support infrastructure, the Gripen is designed around disruption. Its entire combat doctrine is built to make the enemy feel blind, overwhelmed, and helpless. Instead of relying solely on stealth coatings or brute engine power, the Gripen leverages information warfare, speed of deployment, and unpredictable tactics that come straight from Sweden's survival mindset. Gripen squadrons are trained differently from most Western air forces. The focus isn't on elite, hard to replace pilots, but on creating a system where any pilot can jump in and the jet itself amplifies their capability 
through its advanced data link and sensor fusion. In exercises, this philosophy has allowed Grippens to act as force multipliers, turning small numbers into overwhelming networked threats. A single Grippen can feed targeting data to every allied aircraft in the fight, even if they are different platforms. In simulated conflicts, this has allowed a handful of Grippens to flip the balance of entire engagements without firing a shot, using pure information dominance. The Grippens' wartime deployment strategy is equally unconventional. Instead of defending massive air bases, Sweden designed the jet to vanish into the landscape. Highway strips, forest clearings, and even abandoned industrial sites become launch pads. This constant relocation creates a psychological nightmare for adversaries who can never pin down where the next attack will come from. Unlike F-35s or Su-35s chained to heavily defended bases, the Gripen is a phantom, appearing and disappearing with almost gorilla-like agility. There's also a psychological element to the Gripen's cost philosophy. For adversaries, going up against a jet that costs one-third of theirs, yet performs on equal or superior terms, is demoralizing. It tells pilots and commanders that their expensive technological edge isn't a guarantee of victory. It forces them to rethink tactics mid-fight, knowing the enemy can lose jets without bankrupting their war effort, while every loss on their side bleeds billions. In modern electronic warfare environments, this mental game becomes lethal. The Gripen's advanced EW suite doesn't just jam sensors, it manipulates the enemy's perception of the battlefield. In NATO exercises, opposing pilots have described fighting Gripen's as like being hunted by ghosts. Radar screens go dark, false targets appear, and missiles seem to come from nowhere. This is not just technology. It's a psychological weapon designed to make the enemy doubt every move they make. The end result is that the Gripen doesn't just fight battles in the air, it fights them in the minds of both pilots and politicians. It's a machine built to prove that control of the skies doesn't belong to the richest nation or the most expensive jet. It belongs to the smartest strategy. And that philosophy is perhaps its most devastating weapon of all.